Mum, I found this picture, but I don't know whom it's for. Oh, it's for one of our great saints. Her name's Marina. Marina the nun. What does nun mean? First, off to bed, and then we will tell you her story. Nuns were girls who loved to live their lives for Jesus and wanted to spend it all serving him. They lived a monistic life in a monastery. Oh, like Sister Johanna, whom we met at the monastery last week. Yes, exactly, my dear. Okay, now I understand. Please tell me more about Saint Marina. Saint Marina was born in the 8th century, and her name was Mariam. Was it Mariam or Marina? <laughs> okay, my dear, be patient, and I'll explain it to you. Her name was Mariam, and her parents were very rich. Unfortunately, her mother passed away while she was a little girl. Her father taught her everything about God, and she grew up in the love of Jesus. Mariam was kind and helpful to everyone. Mariam, I've been waiting for you to grow up so I can go to the monastery and live as a monk. Now that you are a young lady, you may be married and raise a family of your own. Oh, Father, but I want to do the same as well and live for Jesus. I also don't want to leave you. But how can we do this? This monastery is for men only, and you are a girl. I will cut all my hair and dress like a man. That way, I can stay with you. Okay, Mariam. I will now sell everything we have and give the money to the poor. Then we will go to the monastery. Good morning, Father. This is Marina. We want to be monks in your monastery and wish that you accept us. You are welcome here in the monastery. I will find you a place to stay and will introduce you to all the monks. Marina and her father lived in the monastery and everyone loved them. But after a while, Marina's dad got sick and he passed away. Thank you, dear Lord, for supporting me and giving me strength. My father passed away, but you are always beside me. Dear fathers, I want to send you to do some important work for us in the city and also to buy things for our needs. Yes, father, as you wish. Ah, it is so dark now. We will not be able to return to the monastery. What should we do now? We can sleep in any hotel, and then we can return to our monastery in the morning. On this night, there was a soldier in the same hotel who saw the daughter of the hotel owner, and he married her. Then this girl became pregnant, and she lied and told everyone that Marine is the father of her baby. Where is Marine? He married my daughter, then escaped. I want him now to take his son and look after him. Marine, you are a monk. How could you have done this, marrying a girl? Now I will have to remove you from the monastery. Oh, Mum, but this is unfair. Why didn't she defend herself and tell everyone that she didn't do that? She didn't want anyone to get in trouble, so she accepted the blame for a sin that she didn't do. Marina didn't know where to go after she left the monastery, so she decided to stay in the desert near the monastery and continued taking care of her baby. And not only her baby, she was so kind and helped other people as well. Thank you, dear Jesus, for protecting both me and the baby throughout these three years. You know that he is not my baby, but I love him and will take care of him and teach him everything about you. Our Father, please forgive Marie. He has been living in the desert for three years now without a shelter or a room. He would place his food and water jar beside a tree so that anyone traveling or in need could take it. Please let him come and live with us again. Okay, I will allow him to come and live in the monastery again. Ah, uh, that's why there's a water jar beside her in the icon. Yes, Lavinia. Although she was suffering, she never forgot to help others. Marina then moved to live with the baby in the monastery, and she continued to take care of that baby, teaching him how to pray and to live as a true Christian. Soon after that, Marina fell ill, and all the monks began praying for her to get better. Oh, Father... Marina is very ill. Please pray for him so his health returns. He works very hard in the monastery and helps everyone. He is very sick, but still doesn't want to rest. 
After three days of her illness, Marina passed away, and when all those in the monastery were praying on her body, they found out that Marina was a girl. Oh, Father, Marina is a girl. That means that this baby is not her baby, and Marina did not sin. Marina is a saint. She did not try to defend herself, and she accepted all this pain without doing anything wrong. All the monks then asked for St. Marina's prayers and intercession, and many miracles happened in her name. That's an amazing story. Marina was such a strong girl, and her love for God was so strong. True, Lavinia. We should all learn from her and care about our relationship with God more than caring about what people will say about us. Her prayers be with us all. Amen. Today I am happy because I got a new friend and I will always ask for St. Marina's intercession. Now it's time to sleep. Good night, Lavinia. Good night, Mum. Good night, Dad.